Hi there, this is Sam Rock, the trainer in these videos. I will be working with Leroy, a two-year-old great gelding that we adopted from the Harmony Equine Center as a weanling. In this video, I will show the process leading up to his first saddling and his first saddling. Roy is a big horse with tons of personality. We aren't sure on his breeding, but he shows lots of athletic ability. first thing that the horse needs to learn is round panning. I want to make sure that they can move freely at a walk, trot, and lope and change directions to the inside or towards me. asking for forward movement, I will use my voice a lot. I will cluck to ask the horse to go faster and I will blow a kiss to ask for a lope. My cluck sounds like this and my kiss sounds like this. This is important to teach the horse on the ground to transfer it to riding. Right here, Leroy decides he wants to be done with work. I apply lots of pressure and get him back to focusing on me. In these clips, I am desensitizing Leroy to the whip. After applying pressure with it, we need to make sure that he can relax while it is active and stand still and know that it's not going to hurt him. Next we move on to lunging on the lead rope. The lead rope I am using is 14 feet long and is a great length for groundwork. I want the horse to move freely again and change directions often. Leroy is learning how to flex or bend to both directions here. I want him to stand still and flex at the pole to his girth area. Here I am desensitizing to the plastic bag or flag. I want to be able to rub his body all over with it and be able to flap it all around him. In this clip, I am using a surcingle made out of two cinches, an off fillet, and a latigo. This is a great tool to first introduce the horse to a girth because it can get nice and tight unlike a normal surcingle.
once the surf single is on, I will ask the horse to move off nicely and again walk trot lope in both directions. Leroy does a nice job and doesn't seem too bothered by his new belt. The next step in the saddling process, I will add a saddle pad under the surf single. And I usually put the saddle pad pretty far up on the withers, that way it doesn't slide back. But the nice thing with the surf single that I use is you can get it so snug that it usually does not slide. And here again, just like before, I want Leroy to move freely at the walk, trot, and lope in both directions with a few changes of directions. This way he can get a feel for the cinch and see the saddle pad out of both eyes. Before saddling, always make sure your saddle has everything on it, including a breast collar and back cinch. The first few saddlings should be done quick and smooth, and you wouldn't want to be missing anything with a reactive colt. This next step before saddling, I want to set the saddle on the ground and move the horse around it. If they offer to stop and sniff it, I will let them to help them get comfortable with it before it is on their back. Leroy does a great job of checking the saddle out. Moving on to saddling, I always saddle my colts on the right side the first few saddlings. The reason for this is to not have to cross in front of them so many times and it's easier to let the cinch down and adjust it to the horse's length. I 
keep a slight bend in their neck towards me in case they were to see the saddle out of their opposite eye and spook. Keeping their head bent ensures I don't get run over or kicked. The front cinch is always first. Then I will walk the breast collar around the front of the horse, and last will be the rear cinch. I want to make sure the front cinch is snug, that the breast collar is even on both sides, and the back cinch is touching the belly. After getting the saddle on, I ask for a nice gentle walk to start off with. Then I will gradually increase the pressure and ask for the trot and lope. Leroy demonstrates this well. If he were to react, I would disengage his hindquarters and do lots of changes of directions. Here I have added in the whip to get Leroy moving out a little more freely. Before I did not want to add too much pressure in case he was to react to the saddle. I want to make it a very calm experience for him. lunging in the round pen, I like to take them to a bigger space and let them really move with the saddle on. While walking to the larger area, it is important to keep your eyes on them and give them some space. They could react or explode at any moment with their new clothes on. Before turning them loose, make sure everything is snug and all the straps are in keepers. Whoa, I was really not expecting this reaction out of Leroy. This is definitely one of the reasons I like to get them in the bigger space so they can really feel the saddle. Once they've moved around a little on their own, I like to grab a trusty steed and really get the colt moving out. Here I use Woody and a flag to chase Leroy around. 15 two-hand Leroy is quite the racehorse compared to 13 two-hand Woody. Ask Leroy to move out freely in both directions. This will help him get used to seeing the saddle out of both eyes and feeling the stirrups and the saddle strings all over him. A 
I'll push the colts around until I feel like they have moved out well without reacting to the saddle. I then leave them in the large area for a few more hours or until they have stopped reacting to the saddle. Leroy did great and even walked up to me to be caught and take his saddle off. Before taking the saddle off, I need to desensitize him to the stirrups and slapping the saddle seat. I will wait until he does not react to either of these things. This was a great first saddling and I'm very pleased with how Leroy did.